Hello and welcome to Big Vlad Gaming. Today we're finally going to get started on the Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Erd Tree. It's been a long time coming. Uh, I had to play through the entire game again just to get to this point. So I played Elden Ring a while back uh, at release on my own before I started making videos. So I don't have that recorded. And the character I used there... Uh, was is on like New Game Plus 3 or something like that and I didn't want to do the DLC on New Game Plus so I had to start a new character we're doing two-handed mace my first character was a halberd I used a holy halberd uh, the one you get from the knight at the start of the game I used that but now I'm trying this mace and this is my armor I'm using a tree sentinel armor Tasker's Cameo, Golden Scarab for more runes, although I don't really need that at this point. Green Turtle Talisman, Radagon Sword Seal for raised attributes, and uh, I do use the Mimic Tear Ash sometimes. Uh, and I am going with a Strength build, I'm level 136, those are my stats. Let's go in and smash some things. So apparently, I beat Mog and this guy appeared. He's new. So we're going to go in the cocoon. Let's have a chat. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. I was guided here. Unlike you, I was guided by faith. By the internet. Honorable path. Touch the withered arm and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikola's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. I've got a tree on my head. I just noticed that. There's a, a tree growing out of my helmet. Well, that's cool. All right, let's get started. I am unspoiled, so I don't know what to expect. Um, I heard this DLC is pretty hard, so... And if you enjoy my content and are not subscribed, consider subscribing. It really helps out, and I'm trying to get to a thousand subs, so let's do it. Um, okay. I was expecting a cutscene. I don't think... I could be wrong, but I don't think the DLCs from the other games had cutscenes at the start. Maybe they did, I can't remember. Oh, that's the Erd Tree. I guess this is in the past. Gravesite Plain. Uh, it's pretty impressive. They do a great job with the view distance here. They don't really turn down the detail very much. They hide some of it with fog, obviously, but you can see pretty dang far and it looks really good. There are grave yard, there are grave sites everywhere. So there's this weird tapestry sprawled out over the entire region. From the Erd Tree. I can't tell... I can't pinpoint where I am. Is there a map? Okay, well the first place I should go is here. Well, let's... Let's check this out. Are you guys bad? Good. Flying things. Here we go. Easy. Smithing stone. Is there another one? No. Damn turkeys. Sheep. I 
can use the bones to make arrows. Uh, I suppose I should be using my horse. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's get the map. Rada fruit. And here we are. Uh, I don't really recognize this. Is this the castle? Okay, I think I might. Well, it's hard to tell. Show lands between map. Do they match up? Oh, maybe. Oh, no, that's not the same area. It looked like... The castle here? Ah, maybe. It's hard to tell. Anyway. Doesn't really matter right now. The Tree of Woe. This place is big. I gotta be thorough. As with my previous Dark Souls playthroughs, uh, I am going to be quite thorough. Ooh, we can go down there. Let's do that. So there's going to be a lot of exploration. Hope you don't mind. Um... Let's head up here. I see some landmarks that might be interesting. Like these. Are they they're just graves? Okay. There's a boar. Got some knot resin. something. Ah, uh, no. My feathers. No fire ahead. Oh, is that the... Wait a minute. This is the Scarlet Rot region down there. What is that down there? No, it's not. I don't know what that is. Um, no. After I uncover more of the map, maybe I'll be able to see how it matches up with the uh, the other map so I can get a pinpoint my location where I am I'm not really exactly sure well the hell was that the uh, the earth tree is where it's so foggy right now I can't even see the earth tree there's a tower there. I guess the Erd tree is that way. That'd be east. A little bit northeast. Pardon me. Those guys are like shadow people. Hi. Oh, sorry. I should have read the message first. You're not good, are you? 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I think... I think it was bad. Strong foe ahead. I hope he was bad. Ah, uh, keep moving. Hmm. Well, maybe he was bad, maybe not. Glass Shard, Black Pyrefly. So these are new materials. Arrows. I do use my bow from time to time. Speaking of which, I should upgrade it. I fully upgraded my mace. I wonder if there's... any... Yeah, I wonder what that all of that is down there. That's a dragon shrine, it looks like. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to upgrade my weapons further. It'd be nice to have another progression system. For this. Okay, that's enough of the bird killing. What are you? Ah! Freaking hellhound. There's a campsite full of bad guys. Hello, everyone. Oh, there's a guy right there. No, don't, do not. Uh, he blew the horn. So far, piece of cake. Oh god. Oh dear god. Oh my god. Oh that hand. Oh my god. Get away from me. Ah. Uh, first of all, I don't want you on my butt. Nope. Oh. Try that again, I dare ya. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh, get away. Black Steel Great Hammer. Did I find a new weapon? I'm kind of hoping... I find a new weapon I can use. Because this mace is cool. It's been effective. But to be honest, it's kind of boring. It's just a big mace. What the hell is this... Hammer. Black Steel Great Hammer. Oh, okay. Strength, Dex, and Faith. Interesting. Uh, well, I don't have Faith. Attributes required. Yeah, I need some Faith to use it effectively. It looks cool.
pretty much the same moveset as the mace. Huh. I think I like it. I would have to respec the... Put some points in... Faith and Dexterity. Not out of the question. I'll think about it. Yeah, that guy was brutal. What have we got in here? Fire coil. As these games have progressed over the years, the Dark Souls series, the enemies' enemies' movesets have gotten more and more complex. That guy there was... Uh, he had, like, the one attack where he just bashes his hammer, but then he has... Sometimes he has a follow-up where he swings it again. Sometimes he has a follow-up with the shield. It's... It's a lot harder to um, anticipate certain attacks or combos. Than it was with, uh, you know, the first few Dark Souls games. He said, seek left. Time for massage. Oh, message. Alright, well, nothing here. Except a dip in my frame rate. Uh, hello there. A church. Does that mean I'm gonna get a seed? Well done, and then likely item. Skadu tree fragment times two. All right, this is new. Do these replace the um, the little flasks? Probably a key item, right? Uh, no, I'm in the wrong menu here. Okay, here it is in bolstering materials. Yeah, I should have known it would be here. Um, the bolsters, Skadu Tree Blessing. Okay. Do I do that at a... at a campfire? Okay, this looks like a underground area. You're not scary. Blessing of Marika. Alright, what are you? Completely restores HP and heals all ailments. It is a consumable. Okay, so... That's something... I don't like using consumables in the game. So I'll probably never use it. Mesmer Soldier's Axe. So I guess... Um, I guess it would be useful... In like a boss battle. Mesmer Soldier's Axe. It looks cool. Weapon used by soldiers who serve the Mes 
Mesmer the Impaler. That's a new boss, I presume. A steel axe worn from use. A favorite of those who lost themselves utterly in the Lord's War, capable of performing powerful charge attacks. I suppose I should read the uh, descriptions of these new items. Merica once created a special physic blessed by Merica, queen of the Erd Tree. Merica once created several of these physics for Mesmer's sake, but never again. Uh, what was the other item? Scatter Tree Fragment. A splinter of the Scatter Tree that contains gold and brilliance. Acquired at the Church of Merica and other places in the realm of Shadow. Consume these at Sites of Grace to bolster your Scatter Tree Blessing. A Scatter Tree Blessing bolsters the bear's ability to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the realm of Shadow. Ah, okay, so that's how they did it. This is the progression system, or one of the progression methods for the DLC, but it has no effect outside the DLC. Okay. It is said that when the scatter tree crumbles from its core that it will scatter across the entire realm of shadow. The people of the Erd Tree contain the collect these splinters and use them in prayer. I assume these are They're not consumable, right? I mean they are, but this effect of bolstering ability to deal and negate damage is permanent, I assume. Alright, well, we killed everyone at this campsite. They're all dead. That's cool. Don't you dare. Can't tell me what to do. Other people. I'm just spamming the Y button. Not the Y button, the triangle button. Picking up any materials I may come across. Okay, I think that was it down here. Alright, let's get back up there. It's pretty in its own way. They did a good job making it feel distinct from the original game's environment so far. Okay. Power. Let's head over here to the end. Might not be anything here, but... Oops. Messed that up. There is something here. No head ahead. Yeah, no kidding. Looks like you're missing a few body parts. Revered Spirit Ash. What's this? Bolsters Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. Huh. Spirit Ash of those who came before. Infused with potent spirituality. Acquired from the corpses of horn scent and other objects that ritually decorate townships and villages across the realm of shadow. Consume these at Sites of Grace to bolster your Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. The Revered Spirit Ash Blessing bolsters both summoned spirits and spectral steeds abilities to deal and negate damage but has no influence outside the realm of shadow okay so this bolsters my uh sp my summoned spirits the weathered corpses were called tutelary deities and revered spirit ash was said to quietly accumulate in the palm of their hands Okay, I wonder if it's something I have to use on a specific ash to bolster it, or... Wow.
That's, uh... Quite pretty. Or, um... <laughs> yeah, it, it's freaky the way that little... That hill there is casting a shadow right where I am. It's, it's just kind of beautiful. Um... Yeah, maybe I just eat the ash and it, it bolsters all of my summoned spirits. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I can get up there. Should I get up there? Pardon me. Scorched Ruins. I want to get back up there. Oh, I do plan to still do a, a Dark Souls 3 boss tier list. It's been a while since I played the game, but I think I, I remember enough about the bosses that I could do that competently. I think if I see the bosses again, it'll um, bring back those memories. The cookbook. Greater Potentate's Cookbook. Stop throwing rocks at me. This is so rude. Dung required ahead. Yeah, you're throwing crap at me. I'm gonna throw crap at you. Uh, that didn't work at all. Oh, please. I get. I gotta get my health back. Best way to do that? Kill things. I'll take your mushrooms and fruit. Don't you know? This is illegal here in the Shadow Realm. Hefty cracked pot. Never really used pots much in my playthrough. Are they useful? Making progress. Hello. Try rolling. Will do. Time for gesturing. Nah, trying to fool me. There is a door there. Not going to be able to get through it. Strong foe ahead. Oh, that guy. That's a... A walking cauldron. Or a, a wicker man. That's cool. Good for him. Giant sort. Yes. There's an item there I want. Can I summon a horse? Gotta get everything. Alright, well that wasn't that interesting.
abundance. All right, let's check here first. Probably should have read the message. Uh, I don't trust that chest. Time for talisman. Okay. I trust other people. Blade of mercy. Let's have a look. Raises attack power after each critical hit. A thin bloodstained dagger. Not longer fit for use. Raises attack power after each critical hit. It's like the dagger, um... Margit used. I see a lot of that. And maybe Mog used a dagger like that. I think. Or whatever his name is. Hornsen employed this to honorably end the suffering of a compatriot. After claiming numerous lives, the dagger is now broken, but has acquired a special spectral aura. Anything else up here? Flies. Bliss. Okay, so the Erd Tree is north and a little bit east. Yeah, I think we are down here. in the uh, starting region. In the past. Yeah. There we go. Uh, anything else I'm missing here? I do see an item there. Oh, so close. Oh, calm down. Can't follow me up here. Ah, oh, dang it. Damn. Gotta get back up there. Okay, where was that item? It's right up there, okay. It should be right below me. Um, how do I get down there? That's a pickle. Thank you. Can I fall that distance? Ooh, better not try it. Okay, I think we're good. I might have missed something. I think we got everything here. Uh, we can go say hi to our new friend. The Wicker Man. See if we can get out our lantern here. 
It's not really going to help much out in the open here, but... Nah, it kind of makes me bright, but nothing else. Wait, what are you? There's a guy holding a pot. Oh, I gotta stop here. Damn it. Stop moving. What was that nonsense? Oh, okay. I thought he was someone I could talk to. Is he gonna just throw that pot at me? He vanished. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here. After I go to the grace. He's got something for me. If I kill him, maybe I can... Get something from him. Hey, what's up, buddy? I know. All your resentment lingers yet. The raw stuff from which I shall surely forge a curse upon the dastard Mesmer's head, upon Marika's children, each and all. I'll take care of Mesmer. Mesmer the Impaler? Right? It's a cool name. Sounds deadly. Alright, I'm gonna rest here. First of all, Shadow Realm Blessing. Scud Tree Blessing. Ooh. Okay. I need two for the next level. Alright, Revered Spirit Ash Blessing. Okay, those take one to level. Alright, let's talk to... Pot Man, Mr. Potts. There he is with his shiny pot. Hello, Potman. Ah, I got a scud tree fragment. And a bunch of other stuff. Oh, he had like a loot box on his head. Okay. Now. Oh, God. Oh, I love those guys. They're just carrying around a, a pot full of sweet loot. Now I can... I had, yeah, he had a scud tree fragment. Now I can upgrade my... Blessing again. Sweet. Well, let's go fight the wicker man. He's so big, I probably should do this on horseback. Oh, yeah, he's a lot bigger than I expected. Okay. This is not the good thing. Please stop. Oh my god. How do I dodge that? This is painful. Oh. Now, what did I do? All right. Do I? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, do I jump over the flame? Try that again. Okay, that's the kick. What do I do about that? Okay, I can dodge that one. I don't know what to do about the kick, though. 
Okay, those are just swipes, regular swipes. I am doing nothing. Keep doing that attack, that's fine. Wow. This is not going well. He has a, an absurd amount of damage. Oh god. Can't believe I dodged that. I can't beat this guy. Let's just Let's just put this one on the to-do list for later. That's absurd. I mean, if that's all the attacks he has, I guess it's possible. It 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 wouldn't take a lot of tries to, to where his attacks become more predictable. And it's just a matter of um, endurance. Just hanging in there long enough, staying alive long enough to beat him down. There, there might be a trick or something to it. Mm, but right now I can't beat him. Uh, okay, so we'll put that on the back burner for now. It might be like the the Holy Knight at the start of the base game where you're not really intended to fight or... Well, you're not intended to beat him early on. You can if you have enough patience, but you're not really... He, he's not... He's, his difficulty is way above... Um, uh, way past a uh, noob. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um... We'll have to save this for later. So far, I'm liking it. We haven't really fought any big bosses yet, except for that guy, but it's the first episode, and I'm really liking the visuals, though. And uh, I'm glad they they came up with a way to give you some kind of advancement with these uh, Erd Tree pieces and whatnot. That's nice, so I don't feel like I'm not making any progress. So, um... Uh, yeah, next time we'll go down there, explore that area more past the Wicker Man. We'll, we'll be dealing with him later, I think. All right, thanks for joining me on this first episode of Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. And uh, take care.